It's designed to give you peace of mind while you're away from home. But tonight, a Channel 4 I team investigation is exposing how long it can take for Metro Police to respond when your home alarm goes off. We've uncovered some, some cases where it's taking police hours to respond after an alarm company reports a break-in. The reality is, in just a matter of minutes, security experts say a burglar can be in and out of your home. When your alarm goes off, you may think officers are immediately on their way. But we found in thousands of cases, that's not what's happened. And even Metro Police isn't happy about it. It's one of the most frightening sounds. Immediately, you think, this is what's happening. But you've got an alarm. Hello, 911. So the alarm company quickly contacts police. Alarm, bedroom. They'll be there any moment. After all, security experts say it can take a thief only three minutes to be in and out. They're going to take anything that they can get, you know, street value money for, and they're going to be gone. In fact, a Channel 4 I-Team investigation found in a year's time from last summer to this summer and in more than 140 cases, it took Metro Police more than an hour to respond to a house alarm. I didn't realize it could take this long. We showed the numbers to Katie Bunton, who doesn't have an alarm system. Her home was burglarized last month. And that time, police arrived within five minutes of her calling them after work when she got home and realized her door had been kicked in. She's now considering getting an alarm system, but she says these numbers are disturbing. Four hours and 28 minutes, three hours and 39 minutes. And there's more. While there is no national average of how quickly police should respond to a home alarm, we asked security expert Alan Young. His answer, 15 to 20 minutes. So look at this. Between June of 2015 and June of 2016, it took officers longer than 30 minutes to respond to more than 3,000 residential burglary alarm calls. Does that response time surprise you? It really doesn't. We, we've been telling people for years that the average response time is greater than 20 minutes. Documents show in thousands of other cases, police responded in less than 20 minutes. And the average response time so far in 2016, 26 minutes. Does it say if it's commercial or residential? Young says what we found is less of a criticism on police and more of revealing the reality of a growing city. Take a listen to this. My burglar alarm went off a few weeks ago while I was out of town, and I requested a copy of the communication between my alarm company and the emergency communication center where the 911 calls are taken. When no officer showed up 40 minutes later, ADT called back. Okay, I'm uh, calling to see if there's an update for our previous burglar alarm we had called in on, please, sir. Yeah, we do have the call. We haven't been able to get it dispatched just yet. Um... It's been a little busy this afternoon, but we'll get someone out there as soon as we can. So they were dispatched, so they are not there as of yet? No, we haven't We haven't dispatched it just yet. It's still sitting in, in the pending at the moment, but we'll get someone out there as soon as we can. We wanted to ask Metro Police about this call and all the other response times that took longer than 20 minutes. Sometimes, and it's unpredictable, there are more calls uh, than officers available. Chris Mumford with Metro Police says the department can't keep up with how fast the city's growing. She'd like to see more officers on the street and says more boots on the ground would make a difference in response times. As Nashville grows, there's increased traffic. It may affect officers. It's just like it affects you and me. Um, it also may affect officers in getting to those calls. But would you say that the department is satisfied with, with some of those times? Uh, we're not satisfied if you've got to wait, but we hope they understand that uh, sometimes uh, we have to prioritize these calls and go to those life-threatening situations, uh, those code three calls. Mumford says there's a priority system that determines when police respond to calls and in what order. For example, if you want police to do a welfare check on an elderly neighbor, that's a code one. If your home alarm goes off and no one's home, that's a step up, code two. And if your alarm is going off and someone is home at the time and in immediate danger, that's the highest, code three. Bottom line, if you're out on vacation and your home alarm goes off, it's still considered urgent by police, but it's not the highest priority. And there's nothing your local alarm company can do about it. We go straight to their dispatchers and we tell them what we have 
and then they dispatch based on whatever's going on in the city at the time. Bunton just hopes should she become a target for thieves again, an alarm system would make a difference, even if police take an hour to show up. I hope that they would leave the house faster if they heard an alarm go off and that they would have the fear that the police are coming, even if it did take the police a long time. Because the way the law is written, police can issue a person a citation if they don't respond to meet officers at the home within one hour of the alarm going off. We took these response times to one local leader who says he wants to find money in the budget to put extra officers on the street. When I sit down and I see numbers like this, then I say, okay, there's only one way we can fix that, and that's to increase the support we're giving to our police. We've also learned there are plans for an additional police precinct, where that would go and how many more officers that would mean tomorrow night at 6. For the Channel 4i team, I'm Lindsey Bramson.